What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back, bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Mexico. So to round off happened last time, two major things happened. Firstly, we secured the the city of Moscow, and in, in the Americas we also recaptured, or actually we did battle with um, an Austrian force which captured one of our regions. I will now be taking it back. One thing I'm going to absolutely drop everyone's attention to is that we have up here this stack up here moving to attack York Factory in a few turns but we also have for the objective of the campaign we only need to capture two more regions so we really are we could finish it in this part or potentially the part afterwards depending on uh, how we feel um, so what I might you know targets one target is Vilnius, but it looks fairly weak. And um, one target is going to be... Well, actually, you know, I'll make one of the targets Finland. As we've massed all this effort here. One giant battle against the Swedes, that will that will go on. But yeah, it also means that some of these uh, extra things, like trying to research riflemen and getting all of these extra cool units, just won't happen, because the, the game will be... The campaign will be over. Um... So yeah, I think we'll crack on. <clears throat> oh god, I forgot about this one. Maintain siege. Okay, so I'm going to abandon the capture of the uh, rebel territory. I'm going to sit outside it. But I'm not going to maintain siege. I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm going to capture the Euron region. Then I'm going to capture the Swedish region as the final big battle of the campaign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold a faction vote to find out which what to replace. Uh, it's a Empire Total War minor faction. Um, I'm going to replace it with another minor faction. I did have a list, but I can't remember. So I think the ones in the list are Greece, the Italian States, the Knights of St. John, and Denmark. Those are going to be the the options, I think. To, to, repl to replace this campaign because it's been a minor campaign it's been a bit different it's been a bit more interesting so yeah I'm keen to replace this minor campaign with a new minor campaign and then when I get closer to finishing the game with France that will be a the the replacement process for that will probably be a bit longer I'll probably need to I'll probably put more of a you know which total war do you guys want to see what, and, and then fill, use that to filter down to what factions. Um, it could potentially be a empire one, or it could be Rome, or you know, I want to keep, want to keep things up, want to keep things, um, keep things free. And I want to keep uh, options open for exploring other total wars, depending if I've got them or not. But yeah, this, this, this has been quite fun. It's been quite different. Being a minor nation, you end up being much more focused off the, off the bat. Ooh, go on then. Let's have a craft. Let's intercept this Russian force. Thing. Um, but yeah, Greece, the Knights of Saint John, the Italian states, and Denmark. I think would be quite easy. The Greeks. Like, in my head, I want to try and reform the, uh, the Greek city states, the Italians. I want to try and recreate the new a new Roman Empire. The Knights of John are just the Knights of John, you know, probably push these words along all fronts. The enemy will try to smash their way in with siege equipment. The enemy will be attacked, attacking from all fronts. So I'll be, I'll be at war with Sweden, and I'll be at war with, I think Prussia declares on Denmark as well. Well, anyway, same deploy over there. So let's, let's put one battery here to hammer the breach. Let's quick climb. Two more here. Just to fire a well. One back here to do some counter battery. And then let's put some guys on. Oh, that's fairly weak. I can't remember off the top of my head if they have artillery. But either way, let's garrison the walls. I'm going to leave my guard troops inside the city waiting for a breach and you can see how defending a city this sort of city with this many troops is just so 
good. Because the walls have good coverage. We've still got this many men. Which I may as well actually... I may as well actually just deploy them. Put the engineers inside this building because they usually can't help themselves. If I'm going to garrison there, I probably want something like this. And you just fill a gap. Okay, so this guy with his round shot. Go for this artillery. gonna blow a hole in this in this region in this section of the wall which is fine so the reason why I wanted oh god they're all gonna go they're all going for this cavalry unit poor poor people but I wanted my units deployed like this so there's not too many too many units will be firing into the side of my own infantry. Oh, I remember. So I need to move you back here to make sure they don't do too much damage to my own building. Yeah, good call. Heavy horse harness is doing some damage to their to their guns, but they are 24 pounders heavy horse guard artillery. So these guys are trapped, but I've got more than enough troops, and I'm happy to have these guys just garrisoning the wall and firing down into them. They are for some reason going to try and assault this section of the wall, which is a bad idea. guns. Kill some of the crew. Here we go, here comes the the assault. I wouldn't stand there if I were you. Think the marines are going to be trying to take this building from the guards. you come from. Hey, they got in. into the city from the own walls. Proper little kill box. Oh, we got him! Good man.
routing all fronts. Mast route. That's the general. Run into position, my lads. Guard mode on. First few ranks should be able to fire into the breach. That's not just full of Russian dead. To be honest, I'm probably going to triple speed it now, because I imagine the mortars going to lob. I'm gonna just going to do all that. Dirty work and lob loads of quick climb. This cavalry is running too close to the walls and they're getting shot to bits. See, their artillery has managed to. Ah, oh, okay, we managed to make them route, so aim at this horse artillery unit. These guys just try to dodge quick line. It seems like the mortars quick line is just less effective than the howitzers. <clears throat> they seem more likely to miss. There you go. End the battle. Heroic victory. Chopped a small Russian. Good, 190 lost for 1,400 Russians. Back you go. <laughs> There's no tech to steal, Sweden. I am so sorry. There is a port in this region that has Raiden not yet been land. developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from Gosh. overseas trade. Thanks. A naval port. Allows the construction of warships. Heg on an upgrade. Lots of ships, lots of traits gained. Works and strike in Guatemala. Climb for reform. Oh, it's the um The universities are starting to now bite back. Recruit lots of troops to help quell. To be honest, can I just knock down the one in Monterey? They're already not being taxed. Grammar for reform's not going up. Oh, that'll be okay. Yeah, they're raiding the Moscow farms. Let's go and attack Fort Saint Marie Sassou. That's us all. To be honest, I might just make this a mega part <clears throat> to end the campaign with this final attack territory, knocking them out, and then a final attack against the Swedish Empire to knock them out of the game. Gonna do. Sure, they're not in terrible positions. It's a pretty bad spot to put them. I put them up on this slight rise. Yeah, that's a good spot. Spread some line infantry out. Dot my cavalry. So, who have they got? 
because I'm, in, I'm inclined to let them come to me through the cars. I don't want to start moving through these towns before I know it being caught in absolute maelstrom. I might move my cav out though. They don't seem to have any native lancers. I've got their general unit, but that's it. He's over here. Send my cavalry up first to see if he can. if they can. pick out any enemy units. Let's probably put you a bit more in position. There we go. Aha! So there's a selection of them. They're in a little divot, so I'm going to go back to round shot my artillery because they've got a bit of a defilade away from my away from my um, artillery. Ah, you tried, tribesmen, but you've not caught my cavalry. Let's run them through that gap back behind the lines. Let's run them a bit further out. Oh, they were meant to be running, but they decided to stop. We should be okay seeing off these units because they are slightly damaged. Determined to chase you. <laughs> They've changed their mind now. artillery on this strong bowman unit. Let's run the cavalry out. Get them away out of this combat. These guys gone round shot and start picking off, picking off the chief bodyguard. Let's get my moors on how it's a shot. On oh, round shot, sorry. Oh, just killed a bunch of my own cavalry.
Then let's hop over to this Mexican colonial line unit. Pivot these three around, ready to accept the charge of these armed tribesmen. You charge those garrison bowmen. Everyone's going to open fire on the chief. Cavalry going to run down the bowmen. This last, yeah, last infantry is shredded to bits by massed, Mex massed Mexican musketry. So this is the trouble with the Native American factions. Is do you know when they've when they've been finished or not? Is there someone still? No, there is not. <laughs> you never know. Hidden musket man unit, or there's a hidden, or there's a hidden bow unit, or you know anything. There you go, Herberto Delgado, the very experienced general, has knocked out the Huron. Good. And then let's start dismantling their empire and start replacing it with one of our own. Good. Then the next move, the final action of this campaign. So who do I want to use Senor. with it? Oh, these guys. Si, so if I move them, si, okay, if I move him up to here, just outside that area, if I move him just inside, A mighty battle. Well, sort of. So what's that? Call it 5,000 versus 8,000. So we are severely outnumbering them. But that's the kind of odds I like. Let's attack Finland for the final battle of this campaign. I shouldn't lose it. Not overall. But be too, too confident. There's always the things can go somewhat awry. So let's crack on. Misty. Very, very misty. So I want to secure this hill. To put some guns up there. And I'm probably going to want... A solid... A solid block of infantry to do that. But on this flank, I pretty much just want to. I pretty much just want to advance out of the woods. My artillery can set up in this field. Well, oh, no, I'll probably advance them more into this clearing. Infantry. Yeah, they are in proper infantry reserve. Cavalry. So let's put my small mortars at the front, and my mortars at the small houses at the front, large houses at the rear. Let's angle my guns. Well, let's not angle my guns if the game doesn't want to play. Let's 
always be wary of their cavalry. Picking them apart. Unlimber with quicklime. Let's put you there. Unlimber. Quick lime, limber, start to. So I keep forgetting about spikes, but my fusilier should be enough to see that unit of corpse. So there we go. In comes the. The real power of Mexican artillery. Let's get these guys to both fly cannon shot, focus on the citizenry. You guys secure this hill. So we've pushed off their first cavalry advances. I forgot all the howitzer batteries. Let's put you over here. No, let's put you over here. Good, going to square to protect against that Dragoon unit. They should just be able to clip this file I can't sit in the unit. You hit them. You hit the citizenry. Fire into the back of my own men. Okay. You actually secure the top of this hill. Oh, bit of teleporting going on. Here comes the charge. So, we, so we're, this is all the cavalry scattering. Is this the unit? First, the reinforcements coming in from this direction. Okay, so I don't want to push up too crazy. Something like this. Start to form a new new position. It's a limber up my artillery and get them kind of firing straight onto them. gives me a chance to redeploy my line. Run right up to their musket barrels. You, can you start lobbing shots onto their elite? reinforcements from that range. I want to start turning these guys into the right position. Fuck on citizenry, you may as well go and engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Should be enough. Let's limber up my limber up my um mortars. Oh, it says that's a bad spot. 
advance up to them. The second regiment of foot is confident. Very confident for a man barrel muzzle to muzzle with my marines. Okay, they're starting to push up in bigger numbers now. Mon General. This guy, he wasn't even involved in the combat, he still clubbed him on the face. Get those in on the bayonet charge. In order for me to be able to re-establish my line. Fled anyway. Fuse it is into the mix. This unit of guns. Limba. See if you need a fuse lasers ready to drop down some stakes. To be honest, that's probably close enough. It's probably close enough for you as well. Limber and unlimber. Poor shots into those marines. Let's find these fusiliers, foot guard marines. drop back in the safety of their, their little hillock. Gonna go hit the citizenry. A mighty rout. This battery can't engage them at the start. Yeah, you can engage that 12 pounder unit. The battery on the hill, engage this unit. They're choosing not to. Massacre the infantry. Let's run my fusiliers up <clears throat> to ready to engage the mountain troops. And let's run up. My line infantry to engage and fly by rank. Which melee charge them then? Start using some of my bigger mortars to start to. Oh no. To keep you doing close support. Tree. 
Come on, man. And send these guys on a <clears throat> bit of a flanking mission to go around the sides and start to threaten their artillery. You have a mighty role to play, line infantry guards. Can you succeed where your compatriots have failed? Seventeenth Regiment of Foot. Turns to engage. Making these guys run on the flank. Shot there by the artillery. Poor devils. They never had a chance. Some funky looking grenadiers, though. Artillery. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. I was just about to change their orders. Let's massacre the crews. Look at that. Final victory in the field, and Finland is just on the horizon. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's end the battle there, and that's a close victory. I don't think it was a very close. You know, eventually when I run out of ammunition, I'm just going to charge them all in, or just retreat them. Lost 807 men, and they lost 4,388. And that's the campaign one as Mexico on hard hard four but that was a fun one they introduced introduced lots of interesting concepts like the idea of you know me having to well, i thought it was a bit weird trying to figure out how i was going to get those new naval techs and invite it caused me to have to declare war on another country i didn't necessarily want to be at war with and we've expanded to control generally the entirety of the continent of the US except for York Factory and a couple of British territories up here but it's handy to keep hold of some allies we took Portugal we took Spain we avoided England took Iceland we sailed around we attacked Russia from the east we took Copenhagen secured Sweden and started driving into Russia itself to be honest I call this a very successful campaign it went really well. I'm in a very strong position. I've got more money than I can count. I'm unchallenged at sea. I've got armies everywhere. It's gone really, really well. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And at the same time this comes out, I'll also release my um, faction vote video. So all the details will be in the in the comments. So cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. There will be a bit of a gap. So <laughs> I'm very much broken the rhythm here. But when I put this game, put this video out, um, there will be a week of voting. A week, call it, yeah, three days. Usually, what happens? It's the first few days. Is yeah, it's quite three days. A week's too long. I want to start playing a new one. 
So I'll put the vote when the, when this video goes up. It will be exactly three days. It'll be eight, and the vote will end three days after this video comes out. Or yeah, when this video comes out at eight p.m. GMT. And so it will be still an empire faction, but it'll be a minor faction, and it should be those four nations. It may. I might check out the Knights of St John because the mods I've got. I don't know if I've got the um, the really cool cavalry ones. The models they get. So I'll have to do a bit of bit of testing and see what what cool stuff they get. Um, I really, I'd really like to use those heavy cavalry. But if they don't, I'll probably still use them because it's a fun challenge. One island, You've got to figure out, pick your targets wisely. But yeah, thanks for thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this campaign, and I'll see you next time.